RCP fans are the best fans in the world. Juggalos. Juggalos are in the house. They're crazy. They'll grab you by your face and slam your fucking head into the wall for no reason. They're fresh. Juggalos are no joke. Juggalos run the world. Hey, I'm a bigger fan of our fans than a fan are of us. You know what I'm saying? RCP, you guys fucking stink. Fuck ass. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm writing you from prison. The great Malenko was the shit. God damn, that is as fat as all fuck. I don't want any more of this garbage sent to my house. I'm Pat Peterson from Naperville, Illinois, and I've been a professional handwriting analyst since 1980. I look at the T bars, I look at the margins, I look at the signature. It's all highly important. Sean has hyperpunctuation. It's one thing to use a little bit of punctuation, but when there's too much punctuation, it is pounding your fist on the table. It says, listen to me, I'm afraid nobody is listening. When I was in school, I've seen a few people wearing great Malenko t-shirts. There was one kid who was wearing a hoodie and the blowfish shirt the day before. So I went up to him and I said, bitch, you ain't no ninja. It's also somebody who can be very explosive, someone who will have an outburst of violence. I would want to meet this person. You have Eileen who chose to write this envelope in a crayon, which is again somebody who is excessive. And if you look at the envelope, it's actually dirty looking. If by some chance I do meet you, I'd love to have my tummy sound. So you have someone here who may be slovenly themselves. Matt has some formations up in here that look satanic in nature. He's also written some things here that look like graffiti, which could be cult or gang related. I would say after looking at all of these handwritings, I've dealt with the men in prison, seen their handwritings, and a lot of these look like what I've encountered with men behind bars, and I'd say I'd like to wash my hands after dealing with this group of people. They're scary. Shaggy's writing, is it all capital letters, and it's all printed. Likes the limelight, likes center stage, but says don't get to know me. I'm vague, I'm an enigma, I'm smoke. What you see is not what you get. This person, in essence, goes home and takes off a mask. All right, we're looking at Violet J's writing. This handwriting, as opposed to Shaggy's, is a much more spontaneously written writing. They've taken a lot of what they learned in school and just blown it away, so to speak, and now they're doing exactly what they want to do. Uh, I would also say that the relationship with the father might not have been all that he wanted it to be. There might have been some rebellion to the father figure, which means that today authority figures in general are kind of uh, rebellions. There is a defiance. You have a lot of sharp points that come down on the extender, and these are sometimes people who like to inflict some pain on others, whether it's sarcasm, or physical. I would see this writing typically in someone who could be in jail. <laughs> I might see it in someone who would be there for violent crimes, um, sadistic violent crimes. I see this in the writing of killers.